Hey, in this uh, ZBrush uh, video, let's see what it would take to create a sphere, a metal sphere, with a uh, chain, you know, different sizes chain wrapped around the bowl. So how do we do this in ZBrush, right? So for this exercise, uh, instead of creating a custom chain curve brush, let's just download one from ArtStation. There's a nice free one uh, right here on ArtStation, and I'll include the link in the description from Anton Kirkach. All right, once you download it, let's jump uh, back into ZBrush. And then of course, to import the brush, just simply click on your brush and then go to load brush and find the um, one that you would like to use that you downloaded and it will just show up right here, right? So that's pretty much uh, it. So to get started, let's, uh, let's do this from the very beginning. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select DynaWax I'm gonna say no. So here's my DynaWax. And let's assume that you brought in your uh, brush, right? So the first thing we could do is we can set up a uh, special material for this. So if we we'll click on materials, we can uh, obviously choose from different ones. The one that I was using just for this experiment is called textured metal. It's right here. So I'm gonna select that. Another thing we could do is under um, geometry in the tool, uh, palette, we can click uh, geometry and then we can click dynamic, right? So if you want, you can leave it at two, subdivision level two. If you want it even smoother, you can dial this up, but I'm gonna leave it at two. Next, I'm just gonna simply select my brush that I downloaded. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press X to make sure I don't have symmetry on. And holding down the S key, you can uh, choose the size of your chain. And then what you wanna do is you simply want to drag the uh, curve brush across the sphere and then drag outside um, outside the sphere and then hold on the shift key and that's going to automatically wrap the chain around the sphere so then just simply release and there you have it so let's just continue uh, to do this um, a couple more times so I'm gonna click on the sphere to kind of bake in my chain and I'm gonna go uh, this this way do the same thing Create one more. Let's change the size of our uh, brush. Do one more. And you can, uh, holding down the shift key and moving the mouse around, you can change the position of your uh, chain. So something like that uh, is pretty good. Let's go ahead and do one more this way. Voila. So I just made it a little larger and then uh, once you uh, uh, create your chain, you can click, out, click on the sphere to kind of bake it in. Hold on the control key and drag to get rid of the uh, mask. And now if you just simply do a BPR, you should see something uh, similar to mine. And that's pretty much it. If you wanted to make this a little prettier, you can always go to uh, render, you can go to BPR filters. And the one that I like to use a lot is I click on this sharpen one. Uh, and just turn the dot on and just turn on the uh, radius and it kind of gives you uh, a little more contrast. So just a couple uh, tips. The uh, other thing you can do just again for a uh, quick bonus uh, tip, uh, go to your light and then uh, activate another light and then go um, to this uh, panel here. You can see that you're controlling the light, but if you click on it one time, it will put the light on the back and then you can turn up the intensity uh, to create sort of kind of a rim effect um, for your metal bowl. So once you do a BPR, you can see you have a nice rim light going all the way around. So a couple uh, fun things to play with. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next one.